afternoon and welcome to a video. Today we're doing something fun, real fun. I've been wanting to do this since I bought the 240. And it's it's that time now. We're finally getting around to it. So, that's what's going down. This is my 240 dash. Disregard this really yellow that was um, expanding spray foam. I was trying something, did not work. But this is, it's pretty terrible, you can see. There's just a whole lot of, well, let's stay. Nice, look at that. Terrible, look at all these cracks. And that, I think, was Elmer's glue, just trying different things. So I'm gonna chip a lot of this off. Like, not in the areas where it's not cracked, but around the cracks. And then, let me set that down before it falls and shatters everything. And then I got some frickin' Bondo. So, uh-oh, those are instructions, we'll need those for later. Got some Bondo to do with the cracks, then we're gonna sand it real smooth. And then after that, I'm going to eat my sandwich, right there. Shout out to my sandwich. And then, look at this, look what I got. I got a mini flocker kit, I'm just gonna flock it. Cause sometimes, when you're looking at your broken cracks, you just gotta say flock it. So, there's this thing, there's this stuff, there's this which is the actual flock, which I'll get into all this in a second here, and look it comes with a brush. This stuff is super sweet, I'm going to do that to, the, to this dash, and it's going to look icy. I'm but, I'm but, well I can't speak, <clears throat> I'm not going to do it, you've probably seen people flock their dash on the internet. Um, I'm not going to do what they do, because everyone always, I almost fell over, <laughs> everyone always flocks the dash with the factory color, and it's never, like, this is a black dash, it's more of a gray now, because it's been in the sun for 20-something years, so it looks terrible. So I'm going to, after I bondo it, I'm going to spray, also the bondo is, is in there, and that's like a, you know, like a yellowy beige color when it dries. So I'm going to bondo it, and then I'm going to paint the whole dash black, and then, probably gloss black, and then... I'm going to flock it. So I probably won't flock it today. It might be tomorrow, but I will be able to, should be able to get it bondoed and painted today because that shouldn't be too hard. And yeah, it's going to be pretty sick. Also, what I want to do since I'm going to be in here bondoing is I don't like this, this whole vent or that vent. I want to get rid of them. Actually, probably this one and that one too. Just get rid of all of these. So, ooh, maybe not these. I probably won't do it with the side vents. I'll probably just leave those how they are. That would look super dope, though. I'll probably do it. I can always pop it out later if I don't like it. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut little pieces of metal that fit in here nice and snug and then bondo over. I'll probably hit them with some silicone and then bondo over them so it look like my dash is, is flat, no holes, like it was never, you know meant to have AC vents and whatnot. So it's probably gonna take all day, it's probably gonna be a fun project, probably be work into tomorrow. I don't even know if I'll get a flock tomorrow. That's the goal, but I might have some stuff going down. So we'll see. Look who showed up. All right. Nice. Hey there, Bo. All right, that was gross. <laughs> <laughs> so, look at this. I, I started doing this Hello, and- Hello, I'm Tristan, this is my YouTube channel. This week on Tristan Car. <laughs> <laughs> on Tristan Car. I was chipping this crap and it's just taking a long time. So I'm just gonna send it and bondo over it. I don't really care. And then I was making templates. Look at this. Nice. I just smashed my finger full blast in my Nice. Hey, Bam, look at that. So I got those two and then that's for those side. I have to make this one still, but once that one's done, I'm gonna start bondoing, Taryn. Alrighty, so this is where I'm at. I got that made and I got all of them made. These go right here. Ugh, nice. And that's Frank. That's Frank's new vet. Look at that. Whoa! I bought this. I gotta cut out this piece. This piece goes here. 
And then, and then freaking Bondo time, and super sick, huh? What, Frank, what do you think about it? I love the idea. Um, he he loved. I gave him idea to tape that. He wants to show yes, tape the vent. Tape the Federal vin. charges. Federal charges. <laughs> but hell yeah, we're gonna Bondo and get to getting, and then have a good old fashioned burnout competition. Yep. <laughs> so you just get a good look at this. This is the last time it'll ever look this terrible. Ever. So. I got these pieces all cut out. This is the top piece. Look at this. <laughs> so I cut it out right there so I can still put. The, oh, it's all blurry. I cut it out there, there, and there so I can still put the freaking thingies in there. Frank, gotta put the freaking thingies in there, guy. Sorry. Excuse me, bud. I don't yeah. know why you're using my garage space. <sighs> this guy. <laughs> So yeah, I'm gonna. You know what? Here, look. I'll just, I'll just show you, Frank. I'm gonna show the people what they want to see. I like so I gotta tape up that VIN right over there in the corner, right there. And then this is what it's gonna look like with all the metal pieces on. Then I'm gonna bond over all of it, and then I'm gonna spray paint it black. And there's some crazy stuff going on over there. With the gun up each. That's what I'm doing. Nobody needs to know. <laughs> so yeah, this, it's gonna look freaking. I'm hella sick. I'm making a headbang drill. Alright, this is what it looks like now. All of these are super glued in. The VIN's taped off. Look at that. Look how good that looks. That little gap there, but I mean, that's pretty good. For winging it. Because I had this piece was still intact, but this piece was broken when I pulled it out originally, so... I had to like piece the broken piece together, so that's pretty good, considering. Anyways, there's been bond over that, so it doesn't matter, but that one's covered. They're all covered. So that's how it looks now. And I just hot glued them in there, that's like the way to do it. Like, see, look, you can see. See that hot glue? So that's not a problem. I'm gonna bond over all this. So it's gonna add a bit of weight to the... the... the chingus here, but... What, what, it's, 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 I'm tired, it's like... Oh. Good morning, welcome back to the video. Um, I didn't I didn't do any bondo last night, I got too late. But look at how good that looks with all those things covered. It sounds like Kayla's home, there's Paco. So I'm gonna start doing some bondo stuff. I gotta read the instructions because I don't exactly know how to do it. And then we're gonna get this this slapping it on there. Alrighty. Bondo is what we're doing right now. Instructions, psh, don't need that. Uh-oh. That's what we're gonna do. Pop that little sucker open. Ew, gross. Nice. If you don't know what Bondo looks like, it looks like that. It's just a putty. Or a paste, if you will. So it says for every golf ball size amount, you put in an inch and a quarter of the hardener. So, new golf ball size. Golf ball size plus some, maybe. Spoon! You need a spoon. Let me tell you why. A knife would be a lot better, but I don't have a knife, so send it. Okay. So I put that much in there. It's about this full on the cup. So I'm going to just assume that's like golf ball and a half. That's what we're going to do. Because I don't know about you, but I've never seen a liquid golf ball, so it's kind of difficult. It's a really weird way to, to compare, because it's, it's not like, you know, it's a... It's like a honey consistency, like it's not... Well, like a thick honey, like a molasses almost. There, I put that much in. Okay. 
Okay, so that was too much hardener because this stuff is, look at this, it's already all clumpy and rocky. So, gotta make more, less hardener. So this is where we're currently at. I don't remember all the Bondo work I'd do. I didn't realize you had to work like a banshee out a hill because you're going as fast as you can. Like you're spatuling this stuff on because it's drying as you put it on there. So this, it shouldn't be pink. It should be this color. This is right. This is not right. Like look, that's already hard. This is still a little soft. That's still, still move that around. But I'm just trying to fill in all the cracks right now. So I got this whole top piece all lathered in there. There's a couple spots I need to come and touch up. Actually, you know what? let me do that before it gets too dry. My spoon broke also, so that's nice. So I'm just I'm gonna come in. I gotta fill this area. I gotta fill in the rest of these cracks and just keep doing it. I just want to show you where I'm at right now. So all in all, when this dash is done, I'm probably gonna be adding like I don't know five pounds to it in Vonda work, which isn't a huge deal because I took the rest of the interior out, so if and send it, right? Um, but yeah, so it's gonna be a whole lot more rigid, a whole lot better, a whole lot stronger, and it's gonna be cool because it's gonna be all smooth like that. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna finish with the putty, and then once I'm done with all the putty, I'm going to show you guys and we'll wait a couple hours sand or smooth and then hopefully we can get it flocked today because I do have to paint it still I told you I was gonna do that I was gonna paint it black just so you don't see the bondo showing through the flock and the ugly gray used to be black dash showing through the flock so I'm gonna paint it all gloss black so it's like super nice and done right and um it's gonna be pretty freaking dope. And then right here, I, I guess I'm just gonna use a file probably, like for these to clean up that edge. Maybe I can do it with sandpaper. I don't know. That one got a little bit in there, and that one, the end two are fine. But yeah, so I got a whole lot more cracks to fill, a whole lot more bondo to apply, and yep, I'm gonna keep on keeping on. Alrighty, I got it all bondoed up. It's looking terrible. Taryn, what do you think? Yeah. All right, that's cool. So I got all the little cracks and all the whatnots all covered up. Whatnots. Oh, wow, look at that. That's the texture you need right it's there dry. in your dash. I mean, that's dry. I don't think this is dry, I like the thickness. It's dry to you the touch, sand but... Down yeah, I just gotta sand it. So yeah, I'm, I'm gonna sand it, and then once it's all smooth, I gotta paint the whole dash black, and then I can flock it. Pretty interesting, huh, Terry? Just spray paint it black and call it. Oh yeah, just effing no sand it. Oh, I'll sand, sand it. Sand it and spray paint it. Which one are you guys taking me to pick up my Ferrari? No. Huh. Hello. I don't know if you can hear me, but it's so windy. We're basically in a tornado. Look at this crap. It's getting crazy. I've been sanding this dash. I'm not a hundred percent done, but it's looking icy. Look at this. Nice. And I'm gonna have to add, see there's some shallow spots, it's a little shallow here, and there's a couple holes here and there. Or like little chips still, like right there there's one. And just a couple little bits, and I'm gonna have to, you know, obviously fill in some more, but for the most part it's getting there. I still have to sand right here, I haven't touched that yet, and I haven't got this yet. But, I mean, it's getting there. Look at this, you can see all the little spiderweb cracks. That's redonkulous. Yeah, she's looking good. See, there's a little bit I gotta fill in. And Dylan's been helping. I got chocolate all over my face. Nice. Yeah, so just a little bit more sand in, then I gotta fill it in. And then we're gonna put this in Dylan's truck. We're gonna retrofit it. Nice. I'm just kidding, we're not gonna do that. A little chink truck. <laughs> but look at this thing, dude! No more crack dash, Dylan. No more crack dash. That looks like... Like... What's that stuff? Pudding. Pudding? Put, like butterscotch pudding. Hello, welcome back. It's, well, I say welcome back, it's like been a half a second for you, but it's been like three weeks for me. So, I got the dash all painted. I got it fully bondoed and sanded and painted and it looks sweet. Let me get to the flocking process today, I think. I don't know, I don't know how hard it's gonna be. So you can see the bondo like streaks in there. It's all dusty, but you see, you see the bondo? Like this is bondo, this is a regular plastic. So you can see all that and you can see all the cracks, but I'm thinking when you flock over it, 
You're not gonna be able to tell, but I did cover up all the vents. And it's not 100% smooth like, you know, like you would sand your car body, but the flock is textured, so it didn't need to be 100% smooth, in a sense. I mean, I guess it's personal preference. I don't really care, so. And then I did this. I deleted the top vent and left only the holes, the mounting holes. There's a, uh, right there. So, here's the 240 dash. This is the same dash. The factory dash that came out of that car. Also, look at this. I put the rear bumper back on the other day. Look at how good it looks. Oof. Nice. That was just a couple zip ties and a few bolts, so not video worthy. But the bumper's on and looks awesome. And now I'm going to start figuring this out. i got to do a little bit of research, figure out how to do it, read the instructions. I never read the instructions, but sometimes it's a good thing. So, I'm going to read the instructions. I gotta wipe this down because it's really dusty right now. And then I'm gonna apply glue, and then you apply the flock, and then you let it dry. So we'll see how it goes. It might be easier said than done. I don't exactly know, but I'm excited to do it nonetheless. So let's get to it. All right, look at this crap. That's what I got. I didn't know it was colored. Apparently that's a common thing. I didn't know that. You got 10 to 15 minutes. I'm gonna do it in like 30 seconds. Ooh, I'm scared. I'm freaking scared. Sophie. Oh, it's taking too long already. This is applied generously, so I have to send her home. We got it freaking done! Look at that! Did a little time lapse. You can see exactly the process. It only took, I don't know, 15 minutes about? 15, well, it was like 17. But there's a little bit of glue you can see like poking through the suede fibers, but that's not going to be a problem once it dries because when it dries, you know, it'll dry. So you won't see all that crap. But it looks pretty good. It looks really good up there. And I try to get all the, the edges and whatnot. And something here's something important. Right there. You got 240. Mommy, most vehicles, you got to cover your VIN up because then you, you, you messed up big time if you don't cover your VIN up. So you got to cover your VIN up. Be a professional. Because we're professionals here. Isn't that right, Sophie? Mm -hmm. Sophie's the professional. Anyways, um, it says let it dry for like 15 hours. I'm going to let it dry overnight. So, yeah, I'll get it in the morning and we'll figure it out from there. So, I'll see you tomorrow morning. Later. Good afternoon. Welcome back. For me, not really for you because it's been like two seconds. But look at this. I don't know how well you can see it right now because it's in the shade. But like... Whoa, real whoa. It's a little kind of sucky right here. You can kind of see it. And like right here is a little sucky, but you won't see any of this because this is underneath. You might see a little bit of this. I ain't too worried because this part looks real good. And same on here. It looks a little sucky down here, but the rest looks icy. Got a little bit going on here, but like I said, you won't see that. Everything on the top is beautiful, like absolutely beautiful. And I've been, the dash isn't in. It's like four o'clock almost. No, it's just after three. So the dash isn't quite in yet because I took the heater core out because it didn't work and I was doing all that wiring and messed something up. So there's my heater core, garbage. Um, also stripped a little bit more wires out. Not too much and I cleaned it up a lot. Oh, let me just open this door. So look at this. Look how much nicer this looks with nothing. I got the wires all zip tied up and put away. Everything hanging down like all of this and then those go into the dash. This stuff over here into the dash. Um, actually let me get that garbage out of there. 
But yeah, I had a little bit of a of an antifreeze leak problem when I took the heater core out. It was pouring everywhere. You can see there's some wetness right there on the floor. That's fine though. I'm not worried about that. Um, other than that, everything's pretty sick. It's almost ready. Actually, no, it is ready. I wanted to show you one more time how it looks. It is ready to put the dash in. It's gonna be super freaking dope. Uh, one thing I'm not real excited about, but it'll be changing soon, hopefully, is this ugly, ugly junk. Real mega ugly. So that's gotta change because, look at this. That just, it, no, mm -mm, not, not gonna work, ugly. So, uh, so that's gonna change soon. Hopefully I'm gonna take that old 80s, 90s fabric crap off of there. That's the factory crap, it's the same, like style the seats, and I'll probably do something, I don't know, I might do suede too, I don't exactly know, like I might actually wrap that in suede versus flocking, but I was thinking maybe some leather, I don't know, we'll figure that out on another day, it's not that video, that'll be, ne that'll be not next video, but a future video, hopefully, um, I'm gonna slap this dash in, so, be ready for it, cause oof, I'm so excited, it's gonna be so classy and so clean, this is the time, the 240 is starting to get good, like real good, it's starting to get clean. Once that's in, the hydro will be coming soon, I'm about to order a steering wheel, I just ordered a new quick release, and you know, I gotta keep the black and gold, so that purple wheel's not gonna work, so that's going. New wheel's coming, I can't tell you what it is, but you'll see. The interior's just gonna start blowing together, and it's gonna be so great, I can't wait. Um, then new seats, and then the hydro's gotta go in, and then the roll cage, boom! I'm excited, I cannot wait. It's gotta happen soon. Um, also, I gotta, I've been stockpiling parts, I got a whole bunch of steering stuff. It's gonna be even more race car, oh my goodness. You can't know about any of that yet, because it's not that video. So, I'm gonna slap that dash in, and I'll show you when the dash is in, so be ready for the dash to be in right now. So I got everything back together and just look at how good this thing looks oh my goodness wow um gauges are there temporarily the volts gauge isn't even hooked up anymore but those are you just sitting there right now i'm gonna get the little if you have a 240 you know there's a piece snaps in right here by street faction i'm gonna get that piece hold three gauges it's gonna be super dope and then i'm gonna have to change that i told you about that how i want to wrap that it's terrible And then this looks bad too, because this is the original crap plastic versus the dash, and the dash looks all good, and that doesn't look good. I also want to build a piece of metal here, because this is it's too much openness, too much crap. So. What? What are you looking at me like that? I don't know, I feel like you're going to do something. I'm not going to do anything, you're showing off your flock. Your flockery? My flockery. Your flockery. My flockery. <laughs> <laughs> walk away on that one. <laughs> But yeah, I, I got everything. I got the friggin' I cleaned all this crap. I got every. I'm not putting this crap back on because this is coming out soon. I mentioned that. I got steering stuff. This is all this crap is coming out. But all this stand and it looks awesome. I'm really happy with it. So if you're thinking about flocking and dash, you should probably do it. I just showed you how to do it. It's real easy. It took like 20 minutes to do the actual flocking. The prep work took a while if your dash is as bad as mine was. Prep work takes a while. But the actual flocking part of the dash took like 20 minutes. So, super easy. Get you a friend. If you don't have a friend, get an Uber. Or something. Give you a real one more close look. It's got a little bit of dust in her now. Like right there, a little bit of dust. But like it's... It's really smooth, it's really nice, and it's just freaking awesome. I did a, got a scratch or two right there, you can't really tell on the camera, but it happened putting the bezel in, and I've... What? Yeah, it's, it's been a bit. You've been shaking it for a while now. I just want to be like my hero Marcus. Oh no, dude! It's okay, no one knows who Marcus is. I freaking scratch it here and I'm bummed about that one because I was trying to put it in and it hit somewhere over here. Real bummed. But the rest of it, 
F and Cherry. I got... Actually, wait a second. I gotta figure something out here. Yeah, the freaking light still works. Nice. I rewired that, and I had to do some other stuff, and it's so hollow and nice back there. I could put... Paco back there. Or, like, a bag that has, like, toiletry items in it. I don't know. You can put whatever back there. I'm not gonna put nothing back there, because it's a race car. It'd be nice to have, like... I don't know. I'm just rambling now. This is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. If you didn't learn something, well, then you should probably learn something. So, we'll see you later. You have a good one. Um, like I said, dude, um, Greg, it's not the focus, but hashtag mod the focus. Let's get it going. Let's get it trending. I'll put his Instagram right here, right? <sighs> right there. Instagram. Right here. Hashtag mod the focus. Do it. I'm telling you, I want to see it. I want to see it happen. Um, you're all good people. Like and subscribe. We'll see you next time.